Today, we'll be taking a look at the dispenser housing on this LG front load washing machine. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. To begin, you must first remove this top here. Of course, it is held on by two Phillips screws on the back. Next, be very careful. Let's slide this sharp metal off. Lift it up and set it to the side. Now that we have the top removed, we have clear access to the dispenser housing. Now there's a couple reasons why you'd be needing to replace the housing. One of them is if it is leaking. Sometimes you could get a crack on here and you may be able to visibly see it when it's filling and see it dripping down. That means that this needs to be replaced. Another thing is if it is not dispensing fabric softener or detergent or something of that nature. What you can do is, is take the actual drawer out, you'll pull it all the way and then there's a push button in the back, push it in and slide it out and do an inspection inside. A lot of times I'll see a lot of crud built up on here and sometimes you can clean it out with a toothbrush, but if that still doesn't work and you still have good water pressure, chances are it will need to be replaced. In order to replace this thing, there's a couple things we'll need to do. First, I'm going to take off this uh, dispenser hose on the very bottom. It has a worm clamp on the side with a Phillips screw. We're going to loosen that up and do it until the clamp is able to almost move and slide it off. Just kind of keep it to the side here. Next, we have to remove each one of these hoses. If you are not familiar with the product, make sure you take a picture because they can be put on incorrectly. So know where each one of these lines go and then take a pair of pliers and start to take each of the clamps off and then pull each one of the lines off one by one. Just be aware these lines are a little tight. Sometimes you can go back and hit something else, so just be cautious. and took the other three clamps back. I'm going to start to pull off these lines here. All right, now that we have those disattached, next you'll want to take the actual assembly out. It is held on by two Phillips screws inside. Okay, once we do that, we're going to move this back and forth, pull it out, and set it to the side. When installing your new dispenser housing, First, we are obviously going to insert it in the front. This will help keep it stable while we put in the water lines. So you'll line it up on the side, it will slide in. You slide it forward. You may have to wiggle it around a little bit because the inside pulls forward. And now you can see where the screw holes have met the front. And let's reinstall our screws. Do not use a drill on this since you're going into plastic. We don't want to damage it. And then let's go ahead and just slide our drawer back in. 
Now that we have that on there, let's go ahead and install this bottom line. And we'll install it before we put the other ones on. Just slide it over the top. Make sure it meets the end. And of course, reach down and tighten that clamp. Give it a tug. Next, reinstall the water lines. Refer back to your picture. The one on this side has the longest line, so it goes on the furthest end. Then after that, you're gonna put them in order. So front, middle, and then the other end one. And slide those lines as far up as you can. And now we will want to put our hands in here and reinstall the clamps. Now you can reinstall the top. When reinstalling your top panel, be very careful. We don't want to slice and dice. Let's go ahead and sit it down. You'll want about an inch away from the front. That's where it actually drops down. And then you can slide it forward and it should match up with the front. Let's reinstall the two screws on the back. and this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.